Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm, and this is episode 127 of my single player Tivity World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So we are back, and it has been a bit of a delay, and I've got an arrow to the shoulder. So I don't know. I think all those things combined tells me I've got a bit of karma coming my way, and maybe that's negative karma, but that's all right. <laughs> we are back, and uh, I did I did die along the way, so maybe that's also karma for having such a long gap. But we are here, and we also built something. So to start off the episode, we have built this merchant ship over this part of the island. So that's one of the docks over there. Most of my main building is on the other side of this island, though. And I did see some good comments and suggestions about building in different parts of my world and trying to expand this island. And that's certainly, some, certainly something that I want to do. And adding like a little merchant ship every now and then in the ocean, I think, is a good little addition. And uh, I did have a theme for this particular merchant ship, so I did do a little bit of caving around here to gather some resources. And I uh, wanted to put these resources to good use, so I put them into these chests. It's kind of for decoration, but I guess it is functional as well. If I'm over this part of my world, I know where I can get some coal. This is like a coal-based ship. I've also got some gravel. I've also got some food here somewhere. There we go. I've got some food over here. So this ship is all good to go. Heading out to the big ocean ahead of us. And uh, I think this is a nice addition to this part of my world, and I'm pretty keen to add some other details in different parts of my world. And speaking of areas of my world that I don't adventure to frequently, is this part, this little island attached to my main island. And I have worked on this bridge design a little bit in between episodes. You might notice a few subtle changes. There's more that I want to do to this bridge. I'll wait till 1.13 comes out, where we can have some waterlogged blocks and different fun things to play with. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this bridge now. I know I keep coming back and tinkering with it, but I don't know, I always like to just add more details and think of new things. And you've seen me do more of this these days, having different trapdoors as part of the, the, I guess, the flooring for bridges. And just mainly because you can see through the water and you, know, you don't have to worry about lighting. Some of those kind of basics. But yeah, this is an area that I haven't worked on or haven't you haven't seen me work on for a while. But that's not what we're going to do today. There is something that I wanted to do over this part right down here. Whoa. That was a weird jump. And my recording just stopped, so really strange start to this episode. But right down here, right next to the coastline, is we've got this large opening area. It's like a, a nice big natural kind of hole that goes down far into the earth. There's some good caves that were mined many years ago down there as well. But I was thinking of turning this kind of area into some kind of excavation site. Maybe build some kind of scaffolding system in here. And I was thinking putting in some kind of fossil. I've never found a fossil naturally in my world so maybe building one manually right here could be a pretty interesting addition to this area and then uh, turning in this into some kind of dig site could be pretty interesting to uh, experiment with so first of all i'm going to build some kind of dock area because i want this to be something that's a bit more foundational you can walk along here and you don't walk down into this pit area so i have to bring out the dock a little bit so you can walk over somewhere about here i think and then we'll start thinking about this excavation so I don't think I'll build the entire docking area here on camera, but I will just come in and show you guys some key decisions or key updates along the way. So this is the kind of look that we'll go for. So this will be the, the main edge of the dock, and then it will be the walkway over here somewhere. So this is where I'm kind of extending down, and then this will go pretty much across. I might add a little bit of shape and contour as this path goes around, because I don't want it to be just a straight line right across here. So that's some of the details I need to figure out, and then once I've made a bit of progress, I'll come back and give you guys an update. So here is a status update on how things are coming together for this dock slash pathway slash walkway, <laughs> whatever we're going to call this thing. And I think it looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and add in the redstone lamps where I've got these pillars and put in a uh, daylight sensor on top just so we can light this area at night time pretty easily. And I think we've got the basic shape and outline working for us. I think we'll give us enough distance to walk along here. I'll probably make this path come out to about here somewhere. And that will create a nice little uh, space to work in here for the dig area. So I'm just going to add in a bit more detail. I am thinking of trying to mix in some path blocks into this walkway as well, which means I'll probably have to lower or some kind of bring out the main, um, I guess, the main land mass here, this direction. That's all the finer details. I'll add that towards the end. So time for another status update. I'm adding in some of the path blocks now into this walkway design. I think it's looking okay. I might have gone still a little bit wide in sections, but I can tidy that up later. And I probably want to bring in some of these uh, these areas like along here where we go up a block a little bit closer to the edge. So it's not quite as wide for some parts of the walkway, but I think the overall shape and design is now coming together quite nicely. 
and you can see that we are going to have plenty of room here for working on the dig site. So I think that's all the positives. So time for another update, and I think we've made some decent progress. This is kind of where this will end up being in the final state, I think. You can see I've added some reeds around the shoreline, and I've mixed in a little bit more of the combination between the slabs, the oak slabs, and the path blocks, and I think that's the kind of look that I'll go for. I have noticed I've, I'm hearing a bit of lava around here, so I'll have to uh, dig that up and <laughs> move that, I think, before I continue the path around this part of the island. But you can see how this looks. I did bring in some of the landmass now. I think it looks a little bit better, how this is a little bit narrow now around some parts. And I've also cleaned up this entranceway a little bit. And what I think I'll do to kind of fortify this area for the dig, um, where is my blocks? I need to get some more oak planks. Um, and what I would think to do is we'll just put like a lip around this area. I think what, we'll, yeah, so we'll basically we'll outline this area and then what I'm going to do for um, basically supporting the walls is be something very similar that I did to uh, the like the mine kind of hole. <laughs> I don't know, uh, maybe I'll just go over and show you guys. You might remember I, I made this little track for the mine cart right down here. And this is uh, where I've basically got some oak fences that go down to basically support the walls and it looks like it's putting in some reinforcements. So I'm thinking of doing something similar over here. Uh, for this area, whoa, oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> so that's something that we could probably do pretty easily. And I think I'll dig out some of the, the dirt around here to do that. Who else is coming for me? This little guy. <laughs> Look at all these mobs. Um, <laughs> you can tell I haven't lit up everywhere down this part of my island. Uh oh, I think I uh, might be in a bit of danger here. Who else is attacking me? This guy is still attacking me. Got the zombies coming in and reinforcements, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are taken care of. Okay, cool. So time for the reinforcements, and I think what we'll try and do is we'll incorporate some actual planks into the reinforcement as well. So this is something I haven't tried, but I'll just see what it looks like. Just using a mixture between the, the fences and the full planks. So let's just jump over this other side and take a look. What do we think? It's different. I think with scale it might look okay, rather than it just being just a flat or straight area here for the fences. I think I could make that work, and I certainly need to probably add in a little bit of shape into this part of the wall. So if I were to dig out some sections, uh, that does mean I have to replace a little bit of the sandstone, because I don't want any of the sandstone visible. But that's okay, that's easy stuff to fix. And I think for this part of the wall, maybe we could do the same. Basically keep, uh, keep with the theme of just putting in some fences. Mixing in some of the, the planks as well, and hopefully that kind of combined look at a little bit more scale on this wall, this one, and this one. And then for the other side here, I'm not sure what I'll do yet, but uh, yeah, just trying to mix in some of these different planks and different styles. Could make this area look okay. The so time for yet another update, and I think we're making some good progress with the walls. And I was thinking about where I should put this fossil. Should I put it like just here? I think we should go down lower, so down to that kind of height level. And to make that look good, I think, for with proportions, I think I have to dig out a chunk of this stone here. I think it won't look as good if I had this left here. So I might dig this down a little bit and try and make it contour down towards that kind of height, down the bottom of this hole. And once I've done that, I've just got some stone blocks, well, <laughs> bone blocks on me. Um, yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing is maybe building some kind of rib cage design, very similar to the actual fossils you get in the game. And it's something like this, isn't it? I think it is, I'm not exactly sure. I know we'll have to be careful with the way that I place these bone blocks. I haven't really used these much in the game, but I do know there's a darker spot on one side. So building some kind of cage system, root cage, something like that. Have this jut out in one part, that might look interesting. Just put this sneaky little ladder to get up and down for the time being. So let's take a look and see what that looks like from a height. Because I think these blocks will just start to look better the further you, you are away from them. They'll start to get a bit smaller, so it'll look like there's more detail down towards the bottom. So something like that might be okay. I probably want to have the rib cage maybe even slightly wider. So maybe over here somewhere, like having the total width down to about there. So having that down towards the bottom and having this contoured down might be pretty interesting. So yeah, I think we're on the right track. I'll keep extending this down and I'll dig out some of this stone along the way. Hopefully that will make this uh, this whole excavation area look a little bit nicer.
Hey there, little fella. How did you get stuck down here? <laughs> that is a, a long way for you to adventure, and unfortunately you might be stuck there forever. I'm not sure how I can get you out of there. Oh well. Enjoy the building process. <laughs> so, what do we think? This is what the hole looks like. It's, um... <laughs> I'm not sure if I fully like the way I've made the walls, but I'm going to stay with it for now. It kind of looks very disorganized and very haphazard, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I was going to go for originally, or just have smooth walls, or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's just something different, and uh, sometimes detail is... Well, almost fell down. Sometimes just having random detail like this uh, is okay. Now, I, I certainly think because I've got a reasonably large scale in terms of uh, how I've got this laid out, it looks a lot better than if I just had a small section. And uh, that was always the plan, I guess, from building this kind of style that I knew I had to do it on a larger scale to make it look okay. And I think that should be okay on this kind of dimension. So, alrighty, next part is onto the actual fossil. So what I'm thinking of doing, let's just, I should survive this, right? Yeah, <laughs> cool. I do have a ladder down here. Um, so let's, uh, let's build this kind of, I think we'll go for some kind of um, like a spine or something like that, some rib cage. I think that could look good. I could do it this way or this way. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we'll try it with this direction first and then we can change it out later. And let's do... In fact, I'm not even exactly sure which way the bone blocks go in the real um, fossil structure. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So let's, let's just experiment with a few different things. So that block won't be there. Can I grab that? I want these bone blocks. <laughs> Um, I do have a lot of bones, but uh, I'm, that was from a lot of older farms in my world, not so much the newer worlds. So let's just go across and see how far we want to make this, how wide do we want to go. So maybe we'll try here for now, and then if that's the centre, we've got another three, and then it will go down. I could make this certainly wider still, so let's just try this width, and we'll see what it looks like. Now I'm going from memory from what the actual ribcage looks like in the game, I think it's something- whoa! I knew that was going to happen. It's uh, certainly not a nice and easy uh, ground area. This cave was very uh, messy when I first mined it as well. And uh, okay, so something like this. Then what we'll do is we'll extend out this rib cage, something like this, I think. Make it, yeah, let's go a little bit longer. Something like that. Yeah, we'll have to think, do we want to make the walls go around this or through this? Yeah, not sure. Then I guess we've just got to go up. So we're making this three blocks wide. Can I place that there? No. Something like that. Then another one here. And yeah, I might just leave that there. And then we'll just extend this on this other side as well. So both sides are now complete. And what we should do is go up to the top again and just check it out, make sure... It actually looks half decent. Now, I've got to be careful for mobs up here because it is still not fully lit up. I've already had one creeper jump down and try and kill me. Oh, and I just fell myself. <laughs> Ignore that. So here we go. Let's take a look. What do we think? It's not too bad. Kind of like the size of it. Probably want to move it this way a little bit. One block. Probably even just one block or even two blocks would look okay. Kind of have to think where this middle spine part needs to be in this pit area. And the middle of the pit is around here somewhere. So, yeah, maybe just one extra block I need to bring over. So, I guess I'll just do that now. And while I'm down here, what I was thinking of doing was switching in some of these coal blocks. Because I'm pretty sure this is how it also works when these sometimes naturally generate. That they can have some coal blocks uh, in place of the bone blocks. So, let's just put a couple of these in. I don't want to put too many. Maybe something like this. Let's just put a couple here. Something like that. Now we should probably break up some of the bones as well. So there's a couple of spots where they aren't attached anymore. Uh, now where does it make sense to have some of those? Maybe one here. Do we want one on the spine as well? Maybe. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Do I need to grab that? Oh, you know I have to. <laughs> I can't help myself. Once it's fallen down like that, I have to go back and collect it. Let's see, how do I get out of here? There's so many holes and tunnels and <laughs> little pathways down this area. It's uh, easy to get lost. I was uh, just going down collecting some of the coal down in one of these uh, little offshoots. I came across some mined out diamonds that I just never collected. I just, 
I used to do that back in the day. I don't know if you guys used to do that. I used to dig around all the blocks so it looked all nice and I would come back and collect them. Never did. Still down there. <laughs> probably been exposed like that for probably five years or so. <laughs> but uh, Anyway, so let's see if there's anything else we want to change in here. Maybe we want to make some of these not as nice as well. And maybe we switch in a block like that down here. Anything else we want to change? Maybe that's okay. Maybe we make one of these a bit shorter. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, that might be about it. So let's go back up the top again. Yeah, it's different. It's certainly, um, it's definitely not as defined as it was as a, like a rib cage or as some kind of skeleton structure as before. So maybe, yeah, I'm not sure because I guess it's the real distance where we've got the coal blocks. Might look better if I had actual solid coal, so not these coal ore, but actually crafting coal, so in a 3x3, uh, three three, and trying that out because it'll be nice and black. So maybe some of those kind of details could look good as well. I think we're at the stage that, where this is where I could probably spend a bit more time just thinking of how I could add a little bit more detail around here, maybe putting in some kind of my cart design. That's what I was originally trying to think, what I could do over this part here. Maybe have like a track system where you could take a minecart down towards the skeleton structure down the bottom. And uh, similar to we did for the other pit, I guess, right over that part uh, of the island. I think that could be okay. And then probably even mixing in some different wood blocks or other blocks into the walls in some way. So what might have seemed like seconds for you has been about an hour for me or maybe a bit longer. Working on this pit, you can start to see a few changes. So let's take a look. I've been adding in more detail now and it's starting to come more to life, I think. And I've got, uh, let's take a look. So I've got some vines now planted around the place. I have put down some string in different places. So hopefully this doesn't spread everywhere. <laughs> um, but I've also put some leaf blocks. I haven't really used leaf blocks like this. I know a lot of people do build with leaf blocks in this kind of way, but I don't really do it. So yeah, that's added some detail. And I've put in some of these coal blocks rather than the coal ore as well into the actual the fossil uh, structure itself. I think it looks a lot better. I think this will look better still if I didn't have the grayness of the stone all around the walls. So that's something else that I'm thinking about changing. One thing that I did think of is putting uh, dirt wherever I've got the, the stone. That's going to take a lot longer than just doing the fences. And on hindsight, I should have done that when I was doing the fences because uh, I'm going to have to pretty much tear all the fences down again to put in the, the dirt. So I might experiment with that and that's going to take some time. So I'm not going to do that now, as uh, this has taken quite a lot of time to build. There is other stuff that I wanted to do in this episode, but I feel like we've run out of time, so I'll have to pick up that in the next episode. There were a few good suggestions for things to do in my world, and I really appreciate that feedback, so those will be coming in the next episode. But I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you like this pit slash fossil kind of experiment, bit of a design. There's more things we could do around here, but for now, I think we'll leave it as it is. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.